I spoke to columnist and provocateur Rod Little, who's dished out some pretty strong language in his Spectator blog, and who's no stranger to a bit of internet abuse himself. It's distressing if, you're a, if, if you allow it to distress you, I suppose. And it's distressing to all of us in a very real sense, Kirsty, you know? Um, it's distressing to me when I read stuff telling me they hope I die of cancer. Some people say that what's on the internet can be completely disregarded. You know, if somebody's on the internet saying, I know where you live and I'm going to rape you, you should just disregard it. But actually, for people getting that, you can understand how disturbing it was. Well, of course, and it's prosecutable. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of the rest of the stuff which goes on there, you can just write it off, mm -hmm. just ignore it. Someone said that I looked like a, a drug-addled, middle-aged lesbian. Uh, you know, someone else Quite said... insulting to lesbians. Very I insulting thought. to lesbians. <laughs> People have said they'd like to see me stabbed, killed, beheaded. It's every day. Yes, but... Get a grip. Why would it be worse for a woman than for a man? Why would it? Unless there is something inherently different between us which makes you guys less able to put up with this. I don't think there is a difference. I don't think that this is a gender problem. I think it's a political and class problem. I think it's the middle class left who cannot abide having their worldviews uh, challenged, transgressed, sometimes in rather brutal language. There is a special issue with women and feeling vulnerable, I will grant you that. But if there's one thing to learn from what you're saying, they must not take the internet seriously.